Hi guys, it's Amy with A2Z Stamping. It's time to check out this month's paper pumpkin kit. So this would be the August 2017 kit. I haven't seen it yet. I'm pretty excited to see what's in here. All right, so we've got our box and our tissue as usual. Let me set this aside. Remember, always save the tissue. Are you a tissue reuser? I am, so I always save the tissue. All right, let me set this aside. So it looks like we got a Knight of Navy um, Stampin' Spot. I love Knight of Navy. It's one of the regal colors, but it's one of my most favorite colors to use, um, especially since I do a lot of boy layouts and stuff like that. All right, the stamp set. Oh, this is fun. Okay, so Sympathy. I haven't seen much of that before, and I like that it's nice and big. So this says, With Much Sympathy. Let's see, it means so much. You did it. Thinking of you. And then it looks like these maybe are some... Some sort of flowers, maybe. I'm not sure. I'll have to see in the kit. To and from. That's nice for when you're doing a card. All right. So let's take a look here at the kit. Okay. So from the front, it says we are making eight cards, eight envelopes, and a gift box. Ooh, fun. I've never seen a gift box before. Okay. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Ooh, this is exciting. I've never seen a gift box. I like that idea. Um, I'm always asked to donate stuff to auctions um, and things like that. And so gift boxes um, are perfect for stuff like that. Okay, let's grab our little sheet here and open it up. So it looks like the standard set of instructions. Uh, step, oh, so it's eight steps. So this just explains to you how to make all eight of the cards and then wrap them up in the gift box. So that's fun. Okay. And let's look at the back. I always like to look at what the coordinating colors are. Calypso Coral, Garden Green, Old Olive, Peekaboo Peach, Pool Party. So if you have any supplies in those colors, that's stuff you can add on if you want to change the cards up a bit. And then here they always list everything you get in your kit. So let's take a look at that. So we've got some, looks like some flowers um, in Pool Party and in Peekaboo Peach that just pop out. Here are six tags already um, with the, which which color was that? That was, well, they don't list that color on, oh, the, it's the Knight of Navy. That's the color that comes with it. Okay, that's Knight of Navy. We've got four envelopes that have a peekaboo peach stripe on it, and I love that. I love when the envelopes, and you can obviously take time yourself to stamp your envelopes, but I love when the envelopes coordinate with the cards. I think that's really fun. Here's some of those cool stickers. Looks like leaves more envelopes this time with the calypso coral stripe on the bottom okay so i see what they did here so we have four card bases in the peekaboo peach and they already have a knight of navy maybe those are leaves stamped on them okay so it looks like we're just going to enhance those these are stickers these are fun these little flowers more green old olive leaves for more bases with something already stamped on them. Okay, so we have six white ovals. These ones are plain. So I'm guessing these ones are to stamp the, with much sympathy. You could also probably stamp um, some other things on there. I'm betting there are several stamp sets that would fit perfectly in that. And then it looks like we have six sheets and six sheets. So this one already has thanks stamped in pool party. This one has congrats, congrats stamped in the Calypso Coral some mini glue dots, and that is it. All right, so this looks like a pretty easy kit. I always hold on to my cardboard. If you don't if you don't need the chipboard though, go ahead and toss that. All right, so I'm gonna play around with this, and then I will be back with, um, I'll put them together and I'll be back with my, with my commentary on that and if I came up with any um, alternatives. Oh, real quick though, before, and also we got this little box. Oh, I do have to see what comes in the little gift box. This is fun. So I love this ribbon. We used to have a ribbon very similar to this in Watermelon Wonder. It was my most favorite, but of course that was discontinued along with Watermelon Wonder. So I love this ribbon, the Calypso Coral Striped Ribbon. All right, looks like some Knight of Navy Baker's Twine and some mini dimensionals. All right, and the box is super cute. All right, so I'll be back in a bit. Hang tight. Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, let me show you what I came up with. So the first thing I did was I wanted to recreate the three that we can see on the cover exactly how they are on the cover. So this congrats, this thanks, and this sympathy card. And so here's those. So here's the congrats, the thanks, and the um, with much sympathy. And you can take the extra, uh, the, there's the you did it, 
and the thinking of you and you can stamp those inside like inside of the congrats card you can stamp uh, you did it uh, if you like to have a sentiment on the inside of the card um, and these were really pretty I like um, how these turned out I've actually never seen a kit a paper pumpkin kit where you have so much left over when you're done like this is all the supplies I still have left over I mean a ton so that's kind of fun there's a lot of things um, you'll be able to work with and do with those okay so those were the three cards that I could see on the cover so I copied those exactly and then for the other five cards um, I actually didn't come up with alternatives as far as using other card bases or anything because I really liked this kit so I'll just show you the other five cards I did that were sort of my own interpretation so I've got this one congrats and I think actually this one's looking um, kind of plain so I think I'm going to grab a couple more of these little guys here it looks like I need more up here so I'm just going to add a sticker there and I think I'm going to add where did the little tiny I'm going to add one of these little orange flowers because I thought um, I thought these were really sweet and I'm grab out the mini dimensionals they gave us again I'm going to pop one right on the back there okay and this guy is going to go right here there we go cute right okay so there's that one Here's a thank you card. Now for this one, I decided to stamp. It means so much just right on the bottom of the card. So I liked that. Um, I like my cards to be blank on the inside because I like to be able to write a message, but I know a lot of people do like the sentiments inside. Okay, and then I did a sympathy. I thought that was pretty. Another congrats. And um, so this one's just with the um, opposite color. There, can you see it? And another thank you card, very simple. And this one, I actually did stamp that it means so much on the inside. Okay, so that's all the cards. Let me put them down. So let's see, I've got three congrats, three thanks, and two with sympathy. These are a little bit more bright and, I don't know, colorful than I would typically do for a sympathy card. So that's why I only did the two, but I do really like this set. So then, let's see, to finish it up, I would, Let's see, they want us to box them all up. And I put, I already put all my envelopes in this uh, cute little box. Okay, and I'm gonna pile these in here now, put the lid on. Now this set was called Giftable Greetings. So I think, I think the intent of this kit was for you to be able to make these cards and then give this to someone as a gift. So they have cards to give out. I think that's what, what their thought was. Um, I'm not totally sure if that's what I'm gonna do or not. I don't know, I have to think about it. I don't know we'll see like I said I have all kinds of um, things where I'm asked to donate things to so I don't know this could work for that but anyway I do think uh, stacks of cards are a great gift to give to someone because everyone always needs cards to give out okay so to finish this up I'm supposed to take this really cute Calypso coral ribbon and it looks like we have way more than we need here tie a really cute uh, big bow okay Okay, and tie, flip this over here. Okay. I didn't, tie, I didn't tie this very tight. Let me try that one more time. I didn't tie it very tight. It's like wrap, wrapping a Christmas present. I need a finger in the middle. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit tighter. Okay. And then, so I don't need to fuss with this too much right now, but you would tie your bow on the front and position that wherever you want it on, on your box front. And then you would take your little two from um, card that you did, and I added some flowers and things there. I used some of that baker's twine they gave us. And just go ahead and take that. Um, and how do I want to do this? There we go. And I'll just tie this right on top and actually I can just tie it in a knot because I can turn it around so that actually I'll just cut it off like this like so and then just twist it around so don't so we don't see it all right and then I've got my cute little two from tag there so I think it turned out really cute I don't know I liked it so anyway this is the August 2017 paper pumpkin kit oh for crying out loud my bow is not that cute. 
I am sure you would make yours way more adorable. There we go. That's the 2017 Paper Pumpkin Kit Giftable Greetings. Anyway, if you are interested in Paper Pumpkin, this is a great month to try it out because you get the September Paper Pumpkin Kit for 50% off if you're a brand new subscriber. Go to my uh, website, a 2 Stamping. Dot com and on the bottom of each post is the link to sign up for Paper Pumpkin and you want to use the code 50 off 0917 I believe it is but you know what if you have any questions send me an email a2zsamping at gmail.com or if you click on my Paper Pumpkin site it says on there what the code is to use so it's a good time to sign up by September 10th anyway I hope you enjoyed this video thanks guys bye